Hello, here we are in our all seed rape this year. We all know it's a devil of a job to get away from these cabbage stem flea beetle, but we put our aspar in, which is running down the field here and is looking really, really good. And behind me, we have excited, which is the variety we've chosen to grow next year. And behind that, we've got X star and extremis as well. We liked the excited because it was TUYV and, and it looks very, very good in the field. Um, we could save a lot of money by having home saved seed, but when you look at the difference in yield that we have to have to pay for the seed, I think these hybrids established so well you can see they're standing taller and I'm hoping they'll perform better than the, the current farm rape, which is the Aspire. The Aspire's done really well. It got burned off by the frost during the season and, and really went backwards. But the, the hybrids, they stayed good and they stayed much stronger and they look so much better in the spring. And they seem to weather the cabbage stem flea beetle better. But we shall see at harvest time which one yields the best. Um, these were established, there was no cover crops involved anywhere, straight behind the combine on the 9th of August and they all came up beautifully with the rains we had back then and have produced a really, really, really good crop. And with the prices this year, we're really pleased to have this crop of all seed rape. Um, I'm not sure what Dick thinks of all these different varieties and what we've done, but I'd just like him to do a, a little a run through of what his thoughts are and what he's actually seeing here in the field today. So I'm going to hand over to Dick to talk through with you and, and our successes with this all seed rape crop. Yeah, I think we're all putting a lot of effort into all seed rape uh, in the industry from seed breeding um, all the way through to um, the inputs that we can make to the crop to try and get it to establish successfully and, and be, uh, bring it back to being the, you know, the really cornerstone of a successful rotation that, that many of our arable growers, certainly surface cropping growers, run. It's hard to see a future without uh, getting all seed rape back into the rotation. It's really the the cornerstone of our profitability in terms of uh, break crops that we can grow for, for wheat and it's such a good entry for wheat as well so we've really got to get uh, rape right. Um, so you know the information is starting to come through on varieties that, that do genuinely survive uh, cabbage stem flea beetle grazing a little better uh, than others. Nothing immediately available at the moment but certainly selections are being made uh, in that direction. As Jeff mentioned, TUYV, um, six of the top ten yielding varieties now are TUYV uh, resistant. Uh, and really that's got to be one of your top of the tree um, choices for an all seed rate variety. It must have TUYV uh, resistance. Um, the yield charts tell you everything in, in, in that, res that respect. Um, I tend to agree with Jeff that the hybrids uh, do have better vigour. Um, so it's a two-edged sword with this crop. Do we home save all our seed, try and go cheap um, at the high risk of cabbage stem flea beetle causing us an establishment failure so we haven't spent too much money? Or do we actually stack more survival issues in our favour by going for something like a hybrid, hybrid drilling less seed but drilling it well um, and getting it away really, uh, really strongly? Um, again, I think that's one of the situations where uh, the Claydon system fits so strongly. It's always been an excellent rape drill. We tend to be in situations of drier, harder soil um, in August when we want to establish our rape. Putting that seed into good seed soil contact with moisture is so critical. Um, a lot of people didn't grow rape last year and those that did could see that you know, it, was, it was the moisture in the seedbed that really made the difference between good establishment and poor. Um, although not everybody's been successful in that respect, it has to be said. Um, but the Claydon system is extremely good at not having to move stubble, not having to lose moisture straight behind the combine. Go straight in, the, in with the drill. You can vary the width of spoon you put on the back to conditions and soil type that you've got. Um, you can be accurate with your seed rate, uh, which is really helpful if you're uh, growing a hybrid. Um, and establishment, certainly in the initial stages, is as good as you can, you can get. We're then down to the vagaries of cabbage stem flea beetle. But the, the acreage of oilseed rape is really quite low this year, so 
that breeding cycle of, of flea beetle has to a degree been broken. Um, the early frost that we had in February really seemed to have knocked a, um, a lot of the flea beetle larvae populations back um, and now we've got most crops that are surviving are looking like this, really quite healthy. Some have been um, hit with fro late frost and losing pods. It's not happened here. I think that's partly down to variety. It's partly down to uh, topography. Um, but it's a crop that will compensate, can flower again. Um, and you don't need to have masses of pods to get full yield with all seed rate. So lots of areas to look at, but a crop that we've really got to try and progress. Um, over the next five years or so.